What's up, family? Hey, I want to jump on here and touch base with you guys about a couple of things, all right? Um, yesterday, um, had an awesome day, amazing day. I felt so light, just so um, rejuvenated, like um, liberated, if you can. Um, like I let go of a bunch of stuff, you know, just a bunch of shackles and just, it's like a bunch of weight was taken off my shoulders, right? Yesterday morning, go to work. Man, I just, I got so much done so fast. You know, it's like I was on crack, you know what I mean? Or crank, whatever you want to call it. Like, I was just like, just on it, you know? And, um, went, had to drive down that mountain and take care of some stuff. And on my way back up, stopped and got a massage. I didn't realize how much I needed a massage, right? And so, I go in and, um, the little Asian lady, Chinese lady, she can't be five feet. And so I'm laying on the table, you know, waiting for her to come in the room. And so she walks in and she smacks me on my butt a couple of times, right? And says, nice. And inside of me, I just like, just started laughing to myself. And I laughed to myself because I'm thinking, man, time sure have changed. Everything's come full circle. What do I mean by that? I remember back in the day when I was young and dumb, you know, and I looked at women like that, you know, and I looked at them like, man, you know what I could, I could do with that. And just all the stupid th stuff that we as guys think about, you know, I'm sure women have those same thoughts, you know what I mean? But all the thoughts and the things that I've done, you know, just started flooding back to my mind. And it's like... <laughs> I wonder if that's what women felt like. I wonder if that's what the young ladies felt like when I was in school. I wonder if if um, young ladies had those same thoughts when guys would smack them on their butt, you know, and all the stupid stuff that guys did, you know. And it just, my mind was just spinning about all that. Stay with me, I'm going somewhere. It's not going to be about this, but I just want to share that with you guys. S stay with me. It's, it's going to apply. <laughs> And so I was laying there and I was just laughing, you know, laughing to myself, you know, didn't even say anything to the lady, the old me, the old, old me, the old Elijah, Broadway, man, we'd have been hooked up, <laughs> you know what I mean, we'd have been doing some stuff in there, you know what I mean, just stupid, you know, and that's, that's where I want to go with this, you know, go with the flow. That's what I'm tired of this. Go with the flow. But you got to make sure you're hooked up with the right flow. You know what I mean? Go with the flow. But make sure you're in alignment with the right flow. Because you could go with the flow and be completely out of pocket. You could go with the flow and be completely out of your lane. You know what I mean? You could go with the flow because that's what the crowd is doing. That's what everybody else is doing on social media. That's what everybody else in your age group is doing. That's what your peers are doing. That's what your friends are doing. That's what your homies are doing. And you going with that flow and it's getting you caught up. It's getting you twisted. You know what I mean? So when you go with the flow, you need to make sure you're connected to the right flow. Stay with me. I'm going somewhere. I was, I was laying down last night. Um, I was thinking, man, you know what? Life. It's like an amusement park. If I was going to title this, last night my thoughts was this was going to be the title of it. Life, the amusement park. <laughs> and it's crazy because when you look at life, we're still talking about go with the flow, okay? When you look at life or you look at the amusement park, the great majority of us have been to an amusement park, a large amusement park. And it doesn't matter where you go, what amusement park you go to. They're all pretty much the same. They're all pretty much ran the same. You have to pay just to be able to park. So this costs you something before you even, you're even able to enjoy yourself at the amusement park. You've already had to come out the pocket. Okay? Just to be able to park your vehicle... It's going to cost you something. Stay with me. We're going somewhere. Then you got to get on a little tram or train or bus or whatever. 
to get to the gate. Or you could walk to the gate. But it's still going to cost you something. Okay? And you get to the ticket gate. And it's going to cost you to get in the park. And there's a price for seniors. There's a price for those that are under seniors to kids age. That's the highest price. And then there's like kids and under. You know, kids seven and under or something like that. Of that nature. So there's normally like three prices, you know. And I'm not talking about the discounts that they have sometimes you know like here in california they have like um southern california residents you know show your id or whatever and you're able to get a discount for during a certain period of time frame that's not what i'm talking about normally there's three price ranges okay seniors everyone else and then kids you know young kids and so it's cost you you've had to pay twice just to get in the park just to get into the amusement park you haven't got on any rides you haven't seen any shows you haven't been to any souvenir stores you haven't done any of that stuff you know what i mean it's already cost you twice just to get into the park stay with me we're going somewhere you, now you're inside the park you paid your ticket you're inside the park. Do what you want to do. You got free reign. You could do whatever you want to do, whenever you want to, however you want to. There's only normally a couple rules. Don't bother anybody else. Don't infringe upon anybody else's right to enjoy themselves. Other than that, free reign. You know what I mean? Do you. Do you. You could sit there, and if you look at amusement parks, for the most part, they have a little kitty section, you know, where they have, like, little little tiny cars and merry-go-rounds and stuff like that for kids, little kids, little water stuff for them to run in and stuff like that. They have a large eating area. Yes, they have, like, little eating areas throughout the entire park, but normally most parks have, like, one large eating area with little spots restaurants and stuff spread throughout they have an area where there's a bunch of different types of roller coasters you know what i mean they have shows throughout the park different types of shows you're able to see um games where you play different types of games darts and shooting something and just all kinds of little silly games that you can play to win a stuffed animal okay and so it's kind of departmentalized all right but you can do what you want to do whenever you want to. Whatever you want to, whenever you want to. You don't have to get on any roller coasters. You don't have to go to any shows. You don't have to do anything. And you can do everything. Some people go and they just people watch. And I'm not talking about the perverts. I'm talking about people that just want to get out and just see other people. And just see the joy and the excitement of people getting off roller coasters. And just seeing kids running around laughing and having a good time. Seeing elderly people or people mid-age or whatever walking around holding hands and being all in love and hugged up on each other. And it's cool seeing all that stuff. That's cool seeing that stuff, you know? And so there's some people that go just for the people, just to be able to people watch, just to see what type of clothes people have on. Just to feed off. And then there's another group that goes to feed off all of the energy. Still talking about stay with the flow. Or go with the flow. And so there's another group that's there, and they're feeding off of everybody's energy. You know, some people call them energy vampires, you know, and they're just taking in all the energy and it's giving them life, you know. And then there are the people that, man, they want to do everything. You know, they want to go get on all the roller coasters, all the scary stuff. You know what I mean? They want their they're adrenaline junkies. You know what I mean? They want the excitement. Do you know what I mean? And so they can't get on the roller coaster fast enough. And if they could get on it two or three times, man, more power to them. You know, they're, they're, they're even more excited. And so you have that group there, you know what I mean? And then you have the people that just want to go and sit back and eat. And be honest, man, I would go and I would, we'd have those turkey dogs here in California. Turkey dogs, not turkey, big turkey legs. 
man, I would devour, you know, with those big turkey legs. That was like the only thing I wanted to eat, you know, and I'd give me something to drink. But I wanted, I had to have me a turkey leg, you know. And so you got people that want to just go eat, just hang out, you know, and chop it up with their friends. It's a social event. Just, we're just going to hang out. Don't want to get on no rides. Just want to hang out. We'll check out a couple of shows and just hang out. That's life. And when you look at life, that's all life is. You have all those people that are adrenaline junkies. Man, they want the excitement. They want the joy, they, the thrill of it all. And then you have those people that are a little more laid back. They, That's cool. Do you? You know, that, I'm not into all that. I'll do the boat ride, you know, the little water boat ride. Or I just want to go hang out and watch a show or grab something to drink and just walk around, get some exercise. You know what I mean? To each their own. That's how life is supposed to be with nobody bothering them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Nobody judging them. Nobody putting them down. Nobody criticizing them because they're not getting on a ride. Nobody judging them because they don't want to get wet. Nobody judging them because they think they're too good to go to this show. Nobody judging them because they're dressed like this. You know what I mean? It's amazing, family, how that when we go to amusement parks, we're totally different people. But then when we look at real life, man, we're some of the most judgmental, most critical, self-righteous people in the world. <laughs> you know what I mean? We're criticizing because you're not growing enough. We're criticizing because look how you're dressed. You're not you're not brave enough to go on this ride. You're scared. You're a chicken. You whoop to it. You know what I mean? We have all this judgment. This is your political views. This is your religious blue, blah, blah. We have all of this judgment, all of this judgment in real life. And then we go to amusement park and we're totally different. We're not tripping off of people's religious beliefs. We're not tripping off of people's social beliefs. We're not tripping off people's political agendas or political beliefs. We're not tripping off any of that stuff. We're just there to enjoy ourselves and enjoy the amusement park. That's why we're there. But then when we get out of the amusement park in real life, reality, as some of y'all want to call it, then all the judgment comes back. Then all the criticizing comes back. Then all the self-righteousness come in. Family. We have to learn to go with the flow. We have to learn to stop being so judgmental. We have to learn to stop being so critical because you don't do this the way that I do it. Because you don't dress the way I dress. Because you don't live the way I live. Because your political beliefs aren't like mine. Because your religious beliefs aren't like mine. We have so many things that we're judge people and criticize people now we have even more the mask the shot oh he don't believe in taking a shot and he don't believe in in COVID-19 and having to wear a mask we'll do it do it so that's more things that we judge and criticize people over more things that keep us divided over family we have to learn that this world that we live in, that we call real life, isn't real life. This isn't real life. This is not how it's supposed to be. How it's supposed to be is when we go to the amusement park. Because when you go to the amusement park, you mind your own business. You mind your own freaking business. You don't care about what other people are doing. You're not stressing and worried about what other people are doing. Your focus on, man, I'm here to enjoy myself. I'm here to have a good time. I'm here to do what I came here to do. And I'm going to do what I came here to do. And you don't allow other people to distract you. You don't allow other people to get you outside of your game plan. Your game plan was to go there and enjoy yourself. Go there, hang out, do what you want to do. That's how your life is supposed to be, family. What did you come here to do? Why are you allowing people to distract you? Why are you allowing people to get in your ear spitting at you with all this stupid stuff? All this yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? Family, come on now. We have to get it together. I love you guys. Happy healing. Peace.